Xero Fox X-Ray Bravo. Welcome to my videos learning the Yesu FT710. M0 FXB, just going to show you the settings that work for me on the actual radio for FT8. So we're on FT8 now. All you do is go data and select data U and then with the preset you want to tap that so it goes blue. And if I, if I do that again, hold my finger on the blue and then turn the function knob leave it on number one but then turn the function knob here the first one is all preset for you by Yesu but all I had to do was change where is it uh, no I left that as default so the mod source is auto so you don't have to change that one the other thing the thing I did have to do is push function select radio set go down to mod PSK data and I had to change that one to I, uh, USB, you just tap it here, and I did it on USB, and that's what their settings are on the radio, and then I've got the function, I've set the power, let's back out, too many buttons here, function, and then tap power, and I've just, at the moment, 20 watts, which is probably more than you need, and then I've tuned the radio, turn the tuner on, and tune the radio as well, to make sure we're all, all good there. Once you've got your USB connector into the sort of printer style connection at the back of the radio, plug that into the laptop and then watch the rest of the video. Download the driver from Yesu as well. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So finally got the FT8 to work on the 710. So in the end I just went off and I downloaded the driver for the FT1200 as well. And faffing around and in the end it just it's just started working I'll show you my configuration so we go file settings so on the general I've got my call sign location on the radio FTDX 1200 and my comms are here if I right click device manager you'll see my com so I've chosen com 5 and I've right click properties and I've selected import settings I've put 3840 on I've done it on both and then on your here board rate I've selected cat you can see that the green and the red are on for test PTT and test cat I've cat here and then here I've got eight and two so freeze freeze frame that because this definitely worked for me and then copy that audio wise although mine does keep saying USB audio device I just think that's the way it's been named by my windows if I go volume, open volume mixer and uh, you can actually rename these devices but it's a USB audio device and it's working and I've got the volume on 21 there so seems to be working fine for me now regarding the ALC, if you look at my screen when it TXs, click ALC on the signal meter. If it goes a bit high on TX, I, um, I can either lower the power, which brings it down quite dramatically, as you can see, or I can go right click, open volume, and I can increase, <coughs> sorry, increase and lower here as well. So I've got, you know, I've got options to make, if the ALC is too high, apparently, it's, it's, it's a bit of a messy signal. And you're not going to get m many contacts on that. So hopefully that will work for you. It's working for me. 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. Please subscribe if you're finding this helpful. Bye for now.